the fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of One Piece. So, last episode was a pretty simple episode, right? Usopp got jumped, got his ass beat. He tried to stick up for himself. He tried to solo the Frankie Pirates to get the money back to fix the Mary or to buy a new ship on some pride shit, on some courageous shit, on some brave man of brave man of the sea shit. But it didn't work. He was bloodied, he was bruised, and his, uh, I mean, I, I can imagine his mental is, like, broken. Alright? Of course, we got Chopper to fix him up, and we had the boys wreak havoc on the Frankie house. And they did. They literally destroyed the house. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Um, and I like that. You know, I love those camaraderie moments. I love the, 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 the serious moments where Luffy's, like, just immediately stops being goofy and gets straight to the point gets straight to the fights no words just punches love that all right unfortunately frankie ran away with the money already apparently he's, he is he's in a hurry to use that 200 mil in the black market to buy something what the fuck is worth 200 mil at the black market bro okay maybe a new hairstyle for his assistance <laughs> well, motherfuckers stashing tvs in there or I, I, uh, iPads. Um, anyway, so yeah, we, we 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 got you know the revenge back, kind of. We really need to get the money back though. And Luffy said it himself at the end of the episode. He's, he's making the captain's executive decision to say goodbye to the Mary and get a new ship. Cause that's what we got to do. But I'm sure someone clever, one of the one of the clever shipwrights, will figure out a way. You know, to to keep alive the spirit of the Mary, whether it be using the head, whether it be using one of the one of the parts, something. We got to do that. I feel like that's honorable. It's been a part uh, of of, of uh, the anime for 200 episodes, 200 ish, right? That's a lot. That's damn near one fifth, one sixth. So it definitely deserves a spot, you know, in the Hall of Fame. <clears throat> so we got to figure out a way to do that. Other than that. That's where we're on the story. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is a One Piece episode 235. Before we get started, if you guys are not a member, members get early access to these One Piece reactions. And I'm something like 100 episodes ahead. So if you want to be able to watch those, click click that join button down below to become a member, okay? And of course, if you want to watch the full versions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. Um, also, if you got 5, 10 seconds extra, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. All that algorithm shit, it really does help, so please do that if you can. And of course, join the Discord if you haven't already. Other than that, OP-235, let's go. Dude, it's okay, man. We know it's all good. Bro, you're fine. You're fine. I do like the accountability, though. I think accountability is super underrated. You know, if if someone's able to account themselves, that's that's huge. That's a big personality trait. Because it doesn't, it's, believe it or not, it's not that often. <laughs> so accountability, fire. We like that. I just forgot. I just remembered. He doesn't fucking know that the Mary is irreparable. Damn. Um, I have a feeling he's gonna react badly to this. Cause he's in the one taking care of the Mary the most. Yeah, just tell him, man. Just tell him. Just tell him. Just tell him. It's just this is gonna escalate. They're making this very dramatic. 
It's it's anime. It's supposed to be dramatic. There it is. There it is. How are you gonna how are you gonna react to soap? He actually makes a good point. The mayor was supposed to bin bit get destroyed. I mean, Sky Island, bro? It's definitely been holding up. They're like both right. It's like, she can probably still survive the next one or maybe even two islands. I wouldn't be surprised because she's just that strong. But eventually, we got to like keep it real. Like, you know, our crew is going to get bigger. We're going to get stronger, fight stronger enemies. I think getting a new ship is the right play. How much as it hurts? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. What the fuck did he just... I mean... We had to find... We had to break it up somehow. <laughs> I did not expect it to escalate this much. I thought we were just gonna cry together, but no, everyone's pissed. Mm. Stop fighting, guys. <laughs> I, I, I kind of want to say say that I like that though that Luffy was about to sp slip up and say then get off my ship because that's like there shouldn't be any perfect characters in this in anime there shouldn't be perfect characters with perfect dialogue and perfect fighting techniques no. although Luffy is good at moments like this normally he sl he almost slipped up and kicked himself out right I like that actually a little bit of fault in his character. <laughs> I don't like this. Mm. I feel like honestly, this has been this has been like accumulating. Damn, he's actually leaving. They're making this extremely dramatic. <laughs> Bro, wait, what the fuck just happened? Dude, it escalated so much. I did not expect this. I did not expect this. We're already dealing with our uh, the going Mary, losing the Mary. We're dealing with our money getting taken. And now we gotta deal with the soap leaving? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, Luffy, I feel like Luffy has to be a captain here or some shit, bro. He's not doing anything. What the? Bro, what? 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 Why? What is this episode, bro? This is not how I... I thought we were going to go fuck up Frankie. Why are we fucking up each other? Well, damn. But honestly, that's good, cause sometimes you need to you need to fucking throw hands with your brother, and then you guys stop fighting. That's how that's how you end fights a lot of the times. You just gotta brawl real quick. So hopefully that'll fix everything. But Jesus fucking Christ, what is happening right now, dude? We're supposed to get, we're supposed to recruit a ship right here, not lose someone. <laughs> what 
Yeah, even though this seems like it's coming out of nowhere, maybe this has been this is how Usopp's been feeling this whole time. I mean, he explained it. He's not he's not not nearly as strong as Sanji, Zoro, and Luffy, right? So he he feels like he's the weakest. I do like he's victimizing a little, saying he's the weakest. And you guys don't deserve me. I mean, that's like you know, I don't like that shit. But you know, it's fine. I just hope this all gets resolved somehow. Oh, see? <sighs> Dude, what? This episode went left, man. This <laughs> shit, what the? That was drama. What the hell, man? I'm getting emotional. I'm getting all sweaty and shit, bro. God damn it. Is this really about to happen? I mean, first of all, Soap's gonna get his ass handed to him, right? So he's not even close. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually about to go down? Oh, they're making it so freaking dramatic. Feels like a boss fight. <clears throat> Oh, you know what? I believe him too. I believe him too. Usopp does not give himself enough credit, bro. He's been winning his matchups. He's been winning his fights for us. Right? In Alabasta? Shit, he took down one of the Baroque Works people, bro. He made Nami her new weapon. He's been keeping the Going Merry alive. Dude, he's been pulling his weight. He doesn't have to be super fucking monstrous strong like these aliens, fucking Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji. He really doesn't, man. But that's how he's been feeling. You know, again, this, this, I was saying earlier, earlier in, in the episode, like, this feels like out of nowhere. But if I put myself in Usopp's shoes, it makes sense. I mean, he explained it, right? If that happened and he didn't explain it, I would have been like, what the fuck, bro? But he explained it. He felt like he was the weakest of the group. You know, um, he felt like, you know, he'd be, he'd be left alone. They would leave him eventually because they would get stronger and stronger and stronger. And he'll just be over here, you know, making gadgets, which is still cool as fuck, by the way. You know, he definitely pulls his weight. He's just not feeling like that. Right. He's not feeling like that. Um, I don't think it's a recognition issue. I think it's just, you know, of all the accumulation, he just got his ass handed to, he just, he just got jumped. He just got beat to death, almost to death. So I feel him. He's in a body cast, right? My, my, my teammates are, are, are fluffing me, meaning like, you know, re reading rainbow. They're not like on my ass. They're trying to be nice to me. And how do I explain this? They're treating Usopp fragile. That, that would piss me the fuck off. So I know how he's feeling. If someone was like, oh, it's okay. You know, if they treat me like a baby, like I'm like, like I'm some fragile bitch, I'd get mad too. I'd be like, fuck y'all. I do think it's a little exaggerated, and I do think, you know, it didn't have to go left like that. But I get it. I understand it. See, this is how you do, this is how you're supposed to do a character implosion, right? This is how you 180 a character. You know, you know, you have something drastic happen to them. You have an argument with one of your peers. You know, you ex you fucking you spew your heart out and tell them everything you've been feeling, and then it makes sense. Okay, this is how you correctly character implode. I'm going to tell you how to incorrectly do it now. Game of Thrones Season 8 Daenerys. She literally went from saving the people to destroying the people. She didn't explain it. 
there wasn't really anything like fucking you know there were like little people there were like people talking shit about her but that's what happens when you're one of the one of the leaders she went from saving the people to destroying the people in one fucking episode nah bruh okay so she did lose a dragon i guess but still you know if she if she if they gave her her own like soliloquy scene i'm like going way off topic i'm sorry but i'm I'm just explain this real quick if they gave daenerys or if she had if she had daenerys if they had daenerys talk to john and john asked why did you act like that why did you destroy those people and then she went on like a five ten minute you know speech then that would have been a not a good ending but a decent a better ending than what we got from game of thrones uh, as uh, if she just explained why you know because we were all like huh why bitch and there are a lot of people trying to justify and they made some good points but still it was it was at a it was out of left field so that it was it was um and then and, and that's why people hated it because it was like they're 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 just using shock factor you know and and i feel like i feel like obvious shock shock factor is lame right obvious shock factor is lame they clearly did that to just be like huh you know what i'm saying whatever anyway i'm way off topic but yeah that's that's how you incorrectly character implode the way they did usop i get it i could see his side I can see his side. I don't know why the fuck he wants to duel Luffy. He's gonna lose. But then again, he he just said he found a way to beat him. And Usopp, damn near one of the one of the smartest people in the group. He just wouldn't say that, you know. Um so yeah, man. I did not expect dude, I literally thought this <laughs> I thought this episode was gonna be us pulling up to Frankie and getting our money back. How the fuck did, did we just lose a member? <laughs> but you know what? The best there are a lot of reasons why I, I actually appreciate this episode, but I think one of the main ones is it shows fault in characters. I swear to God, TV shows and animes try to make their main characters and the group so perfect. You know, it's like it creates such a fucking facade, you know, and when when it really comes down to it, everyone has faults. Everyone is, you know, there's something wrong with everyone, right? And this episode, it showed that Luffy, he's been leading, he's been being a great leader so far, right? But he's been leading mainly through his actions, right? He hasn't really been leading too much with his words. So this is something that he has to now learn because he didn't say shit. He didn't say shit. In fact, he was the one that pissed Usopp off and made him leave, you know? So this, this shows Luffy's fault in his leadership. He's got to get better. And it's also showing his soap. I feel like he's, fra he, 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 you know, he's not a, he's not fragile physically, but I'm starting to feel like mentally he might be. You know, it's not just him being a coward all the time. It's like, damn, my homies are treating me like a bitch. You know, and it, it is getting to him. It's it's it, it's accumulated to this point, and now there's the implosion. Yep, but um, but because they're showing character faults here, this is a long ass outro. I'm sorry. I just that was a good ass episode. I'm trying to explain to y'all what I saw. Um. Yeah, so Luffy versus Usopp. I guess I actually am really we because we all know what Luffy's gonna do. But what what is Usopp gonna do? Usopp said he figured out how to beat Luffy, bro. Ever since the beginning, what have I said, bro? I said Usopp is always gonna have the most interesting fights. I've been saying that. I've been saying that since since we fucking met his ass. And I say that because we know Luffy's gonna punch, we know Zoro's gonna sword, we know Sanji's gonna kick. But Usopp has gadgets and and shikaboshi and slingshot and uh, you know all the bu a bunch of shit, you know with his with, with his tech mind, right? So I've been saying since the get go that Usopp is always gonna have the most interesting fights, and so far I feel like I'm right on that. Okay, especially this one. How is Usopp? I low-key think Usopp might pull it off because we all expect Luffy to just beat his ass, but Usopp's got the brain and Usopp's got the gadgets. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to watch this 1v1. 
it might hurt if I, if I if I like if I like see if they animate fucking Luffy punching Usopp and Usopp's like teeth falling out then I might feel a way because like they're bros man they're fucking brothers so I might you know I might get a little sad but sounds like a lit fight I can't wait um anyway sorry for the long ass outro y'all if if an episode is really really good I'm probably gonna have a long ass outro like this and you guys would know that if you're watching my reactions for a while, you know, because th there'd be some episodes where I'm just like, damn, damn, damn. Like I see the shit that's like behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? That's just some of my, some of my, my, my brain works. So yeah, I really like this episode. I like this episode a lot. Um, it showed fault in characters. You know, it showed some real life human arguing that we do daily. We, we argue with people all the fucking time. And I hate it, but it's just it's just what we do, you know. I love that, man. All right, anyway, that's gonna be it. I don't want to keep you too long. Hey, if y'all enjoyed that episode, that rant that I just did, like, comment, subscribe. And, you know, YouTube algorithm, please, it helps. And of course, you can join the Discord also down below. Uh, if you're not a member, members get early access to these One Piece reactions. So if you want to become a member, click that join button down below. All right. Uh, if you want to watch the full versions of these reactions instead, Patreon link in the description. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. And I'll see y'all on the next episode of One Piece. Luffy vs. Soap. Night. Peace.